A series of still images shows mural artist Ms. Karen Frost Olmsted working with volunteers in the Seeing Eye Atrium to paint the mural she designed to celebrate the 90th anniversary of the Seeing Eye. Dressed in paint-spattered smocks, over 100 volunteers from Morris Arts, Randolph Middle School, Paws Club, and other organizations use handheld brushes to paint inside and around lines of the mural drawn on all the walls. Some of the volunteers use ladders, others stand or crouch down to paint referencing pages taped to the unfinished walls showing the artist's design for that section. Teenagers, seniors, the blind and sighted alike slowly bring the colorful mural to life. Now, the completed mural is shown. It stretches across all the walls of the main visitor atrium at the Seeing Eye, a roughly rectangular room with a high barrel vaulted ceiling. A central gold candelabra chandelier hangs overhead. The mural begins just inside the main exterior entrance door, opposite the Morris Frank room. Facing the exterior door, the mural begins at the left and shows the life of the puppy, beginning at the breeding center in Chester. Continuing clockwise around the room, the mural shows their training in and around Morristown, meeting and working with their person, and leaving the seeing eye with their graduates. Returning to the first panel, several stages of the life of a seeing eye puppy are shown, a rendering of the breeding center appears in the background. At the front right, a golden retriever faces us as she lies down, nursing a litter of puppies, a mound of tiny, intertwined black, brown, and golden bodies. To her left, a couple older puppies wear the Seeing Eye Puppy Raising Program bandana and vest, in front of a woman at the top left, shown snuggling with a mother and another armload of puppies. Continuing clockwise to her right, a puppy climbs through an oversized, colorful training loop. Another dog in the top center, wearing a harness, sits beside two young puppies nestled inside two more harnesses lying on the ground. Completing this panel, a short wall at the far left shows a young girl wearing a 4-H Puppy Project sweatshirt, walking a puppy. Moving to the next panel, to the right of the exterior entrance doors, scenes of the training the dogs receive once becoming a seeing-eye dog are shown. In the center, a trainer works with a black lab in harness to navigate around sawhorses on a sidewalk. At the left, another trainer shows a German Shepherd an overhead branch. On a short wall at the far right, a trainer crouches with a dog on a train platform as a commuter train approaches. Back at the top left, an instructor coaches a team in a crosswalk as another student waits to cross behind them. In the center is the Morristown Green with its tree-lined paths, street lamps, and central fountain. And at the front right, a young woman kneels with her dog under the seeing eye historical marker. Continuing clockwise around the room, a recessed alcove leads to the doors of the Dorothy Eustace room. On the doors in the center, Dorothy Eustace stands with one of her dogs in a field of white flowers. Behind her, verdant green hills rise to meet the snow-capped mountains of Switzerland. On the short wall to the right is Fortunate Fields, the Swiss home where she founded her dog training school. A short wall at the left shows the town of Vevey, nestled in the hills beside a lake with mountains in the distance. Back out in the atrium, the mural continues clockwise onto a short wall with an image of an instructor leading a new student on a Juno walk. Continuing clockwise around the room, the wall to the left of the Morris Frank room doors shows the seeing eye building in the background, surrounded by tall trees. An instructor coaches a student in a crosswalk in the center. In the foreground at the right, a young woman kneels beside a dog, kissing it on the head as she meets her match for the very first time. Behind her to the right, a number of students sit at a dining table, their dogs sitting beside them or lying at their feet. At the far left, an instructor coaches a team on a hike past some felled logs. Back at the right, above the diners, large American and Canadian flags fly from a couple tall flagpoles. Moving clockwise from the Morris Frank room doors, we come to the final graduate wall. At the top right of a set of closed double doors, a woman carrying a baby in a front-facing pouch walks with her seeing eye dog. At the front left, a dog wearing a mortar board and black graduation robe sits in front of a smiling graduate. She wears the same outfit. Above them at the left, a man and his seeing eye dog ride down an escalator in an international airport. In the center, people walk with their seeing eye dogs along busy streets in front of Radio City Music Hall. At the right, a final image of graduates out in the world shows a woman and her seeing eye dog boarding a New Jersey Transit bus. On a final short wall at the right, Morris Frank, wearing a white shirt, red tie, and two-piece gray suit, walks with Buddy, his German Shepherd seeing eye dog. 
And finally, back in the center of the graduate wall is an image of the November 1927 Saturday Evening Post article, The Seeing Eye by Dorothy Harrison Eustace.